raising awareness about a serious global issue. A representative from Shared Hope International talked to students at Bluffton High School about human trafficking and how this problem is everywhere. I'm from Statesboro and my county is Bullock, so we're a small rural county and we have had cases of child sex trafficking right in Bullock County. So I tell people if it's happening in my little county of Bullock, then we can be pretty much assured it's happening everywhere. The expert spent time educating the students about grooming techniques traffickers use and ways they can protect themselves. One of the main things is to be very safe when you're on the internet because traffickers, pedophiles, uh, predators often find potential victims online these days. And so it's very important what you're posting about yourself online, and especially social media and in gaming and chat rooms. The school Zonta Club has joined the fight against human trafficking. The students started a campaign designed to inform the school and community about the problem. The Blue Campaign is how we help women who have gone through sexual abuse or been battered. Right now we're putting up hotline stickers and it's basically just a hotline number on it and some facts and signs about human trafficking. And we're putting them up in like local businesses and motels and hotels so that people see it. And if they see it, then they can report it so we can help people. So we have brochures and packets of information about human trafficking and we're distributing it to teachers around the school and putting posters up. And then we also have information and like hotline numbers on soaps and water bottles that we're distributing to hotels. Today is also End It Day, and during the presentation, a red X was placed on students' hands so they can help get the word out about ending human slavery. If you're out in public and if somebody sees the X and asks you, what, why do you have an X on your hand? You can give them maybe a two or three minute explanation of what it's all about, and then so hopefully you're kind of bringing awareness maybe to some people who don't know about how bad this issue is. According to the End It Movement, there are more than 40 million people being held against their will in slavery today. At Bluffton High School, Ron Lopes, Buford County School District. And be aware of your surroundings.